Hello everybody, it's Drakena from Sasebo. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing the first video in my new craft room. I'm so excited. I'll do a proper video too of my new craft room as soon as I organize everything properly. At the moment, it's still one big pile of mess in the middle of the room that I still have to sort out. And among those things in that pile, I found these fabric strips, various fabric strips. This is just one little bit of much bigger <laughs> Um, pile but I thought I'd make something fun I'm so tired of cleaning and organizing I just want to have some fun and I thought I'll make some flowers something like this I used to make these in the past and I absolutely enjoyed it so you basically need strips of fabric needle and a thread and scissors of course and there you go and for the flower centers you use whatever you have it can be another lace flower it can be wax seal like i have here it can be buttons some bling uh breads beads up to you totally we'll try and make a few so that you can see okay so let's just make a few and then you'll get a better idea let's make the blue one the size of the final flower will depend off your fabric strip you know for example, here, from the center towards the end, it's one and a half inches. So if I want to get a flower the same size as this one, my fabric strip will need to be one and a half inches. And as you can see, this one is much bigger, which means it will give me a bigger flower if I use this fabric as it is. Okay, but let's see here in this end, it's about one and a half. Okay, and I don't need it this big. Um, usually for this size, about 11 or 12 inches is fine. So let's just do, let's just do 12. So I'll just cut it here. This is fabric that I dyed with blueberry and I absolutely love it. So I want to have one raw edge, but for the other one, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just mark myself one and a half inch and i'm going to cut it okay don't need that so just that and i'll just straighten this a little bit here okay so this is what you need to do first you put those two edges here and make sure they meet neatly on this side outer side okay Take your needle and the thread, make a knot, that. and you start from that end towards top. So I start like this, and I go through here because can see there's a loop there I go through here and I push that there okay and here we go all the way to the top okay now you want to secure this end um, because later on you'll have to gather this and if you pull too much it will do this to that end so you need to make sure that doesn't happen so I just make a little knot here just so that this part stays flat okay now you open it up you see you have nice finished it so you can you don't need to do this you can just fold it over a little bit like so and then you go through here and here okay and then you continue so now it's just running stitch it doesn't have to be perfect at all because we're just going to gather this like so
my dogs were so noisy so I had to bring them inside and <laughs> what I was saying earlier I totally lost the plot anyway you know what I mean you just gather this And now you just pull, and there it is. That's your first layer. And because we've joined that, there's no uh, way it's going to open up and look untidy. Okay, so you just bring that all together nice and firm, and just make a little knot to secure it. So that is our first it's even a little bit bigger than this one so you can make three two four as many layers as you want it's totally up to you you don't want the flowers to be too thick especially if you're going to use them inside of your journals but if you're going to use them on the front cover it doesn't really matter you can go as thick as you want so now we have to pick the fabric that will go well with this blue color and we want the smaller circle like here i've used lace i can do lace again or i kind of want to use this this is some sort of curtain sample it's very thin but i think it would be perfect for this and i need to cut it now for the smaller circle i was going about eight inches and this is yeah this is almost nine but it doesn't matter and it's only about one inch uh, wide so I'm going to just maybe maybe I'll do yeah somewhere here something like this okay and with fabrics like these they tend to fray so one way of dealing with that is to just burn one melted with a lighter if you do this make sure you don't burn yourself be very careful so now that's on that side it's looking good just need more thread and now here as well we need to join those two that's all right Just do it the same way as I did with the larger circle. we go just go all the way around on this side and I love this uh, project because I can do it while watching TV um, or just sitting down on the couch it doesn't have to be in the craft room at all you know I just need a needle and a thread and some scissors and scraps of fabric and you can make a lot and then um, mix and match, decide what looks good with what. You know, you make smaller circles, you make larger circles, and then you play around and see what would make a really pretty flower. moving 
like a studio space from one room to another oh my god that was a nightmare <laughs> took so long oh, look how pretty that is oh it's really pretty so you can decide how much you want it uh, kind of it doesn't have to be really tight in here you can leave it a little bit wider if you wanted to uh, if, especially if you plan to put something like bigger over here okay so i think i'm going to leave this one rather loose and i'm just going to put a little knot here. okay it's looking cute already okay so it's also up to you how you join these together you can use your needle and a thread or you can just use a hot glue like i like to use a hot glue i'll just put a few drops like that just press that i find that this is the quickest way Now what are we going to have here in the middle? Mm. kind of like this idea of these wax seals, so I'll see if I have one that might look good. Yeah, maybe this one, because this is like a blue, it has a nautical feel. Perhaps it would look good with that. I'm going to do that. They're nice and flat so they can go inside of the journal. All right. Now, let's make some more what we have here. Oh, I like this one. Let's make a flower in these colors. So this is probably a bit too big. So we need only 12 inches. And we need it about one and a half. This is the easiest way to cut this. Just fold it in four. Mark one and a half. And even this you can use another flower for the inner circle it's just over one inch so still there left so i'm gonna do this for the outer and i'm thinking maybe this would look nice with that because it's got that brown now this has holes here but i think i can yeah it's just one inch that's below and i need eight inches in length i want to use this part so about there i mean you also don't have to measure this at all you can just do this approximately i'm doing the measuring thing because um, of everyone so that they can have an idea approximate idea but like i said you can go larger or smaller or it's up to you really although if you go too small it might be a bit more difficult to work with but it can be done definitely it can be done i like always to start with a knot here okay let's do the big one so make sure when you do this that the uh, right side of the fabric is on the inside okay otherwise you'll end up with this showing on the front
pretty. So that is going to be the middle of that flower. Just go there. So what should we have here in the middle? Maybe I can show you how to make your fabric covered buttons. Full fabric covered buttons. Piece of cardstock or cardboard. And just cut this is one inch circle punch. So we take that and then we need a fabric that will go well with this. Now this one, as I dyed it uh, with blueberry and pomegranate, I think has this really lovely kind of like a line through there maybe that would look good I think it would so what we need to do is just cut ourselves a little bit of fabric something like that I can draw a proper circle but honestly and place that there and I put a tiny bit of hot glue and hold it there and put again a little bit of glue and fold over again a little bit of glue and fold over. you can also do this like you would do a yo-yo flower where you cut a circle go with your needle around and gather and do that but i find this much quicker so it's And then you have have it there, so you can just glue that to your flower. Glue stick here. There it is. One with the full fabric button. <laughs> it looks cute, doesn't it? Alright. I love that one. Let's do one with, uh, with this, actually. It's not a scrap, but it's kind of wide. One and a half, so it's, it's perfect. So I'll just, sorry, I can show you that. You can do this with lace as well. It doesn't have to be fabric scraps. the right and what's the wrong I think that's the right so do that
I want to see this and that. So this one is totally just the place. I want to show you how to install this. Just some packaging and I want to use this white part. This is really thick cardstock. I'll probably be able to cut it. It's just really thick. Okay, and you need that. And you need to punch a hole in the middle. And for the top bit, the easiest way to do it is just with a bread or split pin. Let's see if I have any that are nice. Oh, this one with a tree. It's pretty. So now you can you can glue this just a little bit so that it doesn't move. Like so and put that there. If your threads are showing here, you can put another piece of lace or something Hold on. maybe I can put this on one of these yeah maybe this one Perfect. but now I don't like this one I'm <laughs> sorry okay let's see Maybe that one. Okay. It's just that this one now, I, I don't know. It would work, but I'm not that keen. And you need to put this one through the middle. This is a, a bread or a split pin. It opens up. So I'm going to put it through here. Hopefully. this and then through the middle here and then through this hole like so and where is this see it has three holes just open it up because it's easier and I'm going to twist this a little bit like so push it down just want to make sure this is turned Now I have to open these. We need to punch another circle. I won't use that stick as I did the first time and I just glue that there. And that is our lace flow. Maybe I can put it on my 
hat for the summer. <laughs> it's so cute. I love this one. Yeah, these would look good as well. Although, yeah, we didn't put this, but we can. It's not too late. Punch yourself a circle. Just show you quickly. You take this, you put over, and you just glue that down like that. You can do it like this, and it, it will hold. But this way it's just a little bit more secure because you have the bread through the middle and it holds it all together and yeah it just won't fall apart it's much firmer but this way it works as well you can also do with a needle and a thread if you want to make sure it's secure but yeah I'll just show you quickly so you just add the hot glue like this and press and there you go it's another flower pin and it works you can put it all on top of your journal on a gift bag or on your bag or your hat yeah that's it that's a cute one too. We can add uh, some shiny things on top as well. If we wanted to. Let's see if I have anything that's interesting. Would that look good? Maybe. Something like that. one what else we didn't do any with buttons maybe we can do one with buttons <laughs> We'll leave it like this, a little bit open. But why not? Then maybe, maybe this would look good on top. Yes, definitely. So I'll spread it out a little bit. This is just to hold it in place so it doesn't move about. Nice. And then we can have this here. Look for that button. Pink one. Just the pink. What else do we have here? Maybe that one would look better. I wish I can hear your thoughts now. 
<laughs> red one looks good. that one. Well, it's probably not the best choice, but I can't seem to decide. That one's fine. I should stop overthinking it. Now we have an option to do this with a thread or just with the glue. I'm going to do this with a thread. Threaded a needle without glasses. <laughs> That's an achievement. I find that with age, like I'm, I'm short-sighted, been short-sighted my whole life, but now that I'm older. I have trouble seeing up close as well. And if I put my reading glasses, I feel totally lost. Like it's just, I need to get used to it. twisted it a little bit because this crochet piece is kind of oval. Let's go a couple more times. And what you can also do is have that circle circle here put two holes in it this and don't have to put the pin but you can put this and later on when you decide to use it in your journal it's going to be easier to glue it down. Just put the glue on this paper and you leave the flower as is. You know what I mean? There's the one with the button. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little crafting session with me. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you soon in my next video. Really soon. I hope I won't take so long like I did this time. But there are my little flowers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you soon again. Bye for now.